In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the polishes that I received from Born Pretty. I was really excited for this one because they sent me the Omnipotent Cat Eye Gel. I ordered some from AliExpress a few months ago and I still don't have it, so I was glad to get this so I could try it out. They sent me five gels. Two are the Omnipotent Cat Eye Gels. Two are just regular shades and one is a top coat. First, I'm gonna swatch this purple color. This is probably my favorite shade out of the two that they sent me. Sorry if you can hear. <laughs> I still have this set on and I keep knocking my hands together. But anyways, I really like this purple shade. I have a shade like this from a different company and it just ran out. So I'm glad I got this one. This is the second coat that I'm applying. You could get away with one, but I always like to do two. Next, I'm gonna swatch this jelly nude color. So this is it with one coat. I'm gonna apply a second coat because I don't think you can really get away with the one coat. Unless you apply it a lot better than I did, then you probably could get away with one coat. Next is this reflective cat eye gel. This is not the omnipotent one. I think I said earlier on that I have two omnipotent ones. I don't, I only have one. I have this one which is a reflective cat eye gel and this one is a black colored one. What I think is cool about these is that instead of like painting your nail base black and then going in with the omnipotent one, you just have the two things in one. And I'm getting sick of saying omnipotent. <laughs> And I haven't even gotten to that gel yet. Here I'm using the magnet to try and create that design. I'm gonna have to insert a picture so you know what I mean. I watched a video and the way I did it is supposedly the way to do it if you want it to look like that. Also FYI, when I was trying to capture the magnets moving in the polish, my camera said nope. I was trying so hard to try and catch it on camera and it wasn't really working for this one. I thought at first maybe my magnet is not strong enough but then I brought it closer to my eyes and seen that they were moving. However towards the end of the video somewhere I was able to catch it and you can actually see them moving. I had switched to a black background so you could see the effect and I realised you couldn't really see it so I recorded this and you could see the effect a little bit more but with these they honestly look way better in person, the camera doesn't do it any justice. So I saved the best for last, which is the Omnipotent Gel, LOL. <laughs> um, so this is a Magnetic Reflective Cat Eye Rainbow Gel. That's a lot, but it really is a lot. It's a really nice polish. I attempted to show you guys the magnets moving again, but of course it wasn't picking it up, but I kept it in anyway, so you could see the motion I was making with the magnet to get the effect that I wanted. This is what it looks like under regular lighting and this is what it looks like with my phone's flash shining onto it. I also painted one of my swatch sticks black and painted over it with the gel and I also put it over the purple that they sent me. For this set I'm going to use my peel off base coat. I adhered my nail tips using bubblegum gel. I have an e-nail couture haul filmed and I just don't know when I'm going to post it. But I'll show you more on that when I post that. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, so I ended up doing two different colours. The first thing I decided to do was use the Omnipotent Gel over clear. When I painted it on the swatch stick, it looked kind of cool, so I wanted to see how that would look as a set. One thing I failed to mention is that you have to move the magnets before you cure it. This was where I was able to catch the magnets moving. Before I started editing this, I was looking through all my footage, trying to see if I did catch it, and luckily I did, because I really wanted you guys to see it. Once I moved the magnets where I wanted them, I cured it. Here it doesn't look so special, but wait for the next clip. 
this is how it looks with my flash on it i really like it over the clear like it's giving me a couple things it's giving me cinderella glass slipper it's giving me like a clear pleaser heel it's also giving me like something like a mcdonald's sprite what? like a carbonated clear drink if that makes any sense nope. on to the next design so i decided to paint over it instead of starting over again but I decided to use the Jelly Nude and put the Omnipotent Gel over that. Me painting over it made the nail tips kind of thick because there was just tons of polish on there. The consistency of the Jelly Nude is on the lighter side, but the Omnipotent Gel is super thick. I did two coats of the pink because the first coat I did was kind of streaky and I didn't want that to show through the Omnipotent Gel. <laughs> For the remainder of this video, I'm going to call it the O-Gel, and that's even if I'm going to refer to it again. I probably won't. So I only did one coat of the O-Gel, used the magnet, then cured it, then I went in with my top coat. I really like their top coat, I find it to be shinier than other brands that I've used. So I was gonna stop there, but then when looking at it, I thought it looked kind of plain, so I decided to add the space alien sticker things i don't know where i was going with this when i was looking at the stickers they looked like they matched the color of the polish but after i stuck them all down i was like oh, i should have just left it it's not so bad i just felt like it needed more to it so maybe adding the stickers to another finger i don't know but i am going to recreate this set and make it look way better i got these crowns from shein i also got those stickers from shein i have a haul that I've also filmed, but I also don't know when I'm going to put that out. I'm having scheduling issues, but I'm hoping to get the Enel Couture and the Shein haul out soon enough. And what I did was I applied top coat to the back of the rhinestone, and that's how I adhered it. It's still on my finger. Like, they don't go nowhere when I use top coat. And I decided to give my alien a crown for who knows why, <laughs> but I thought it fit. And I was wishing the aliens were a little bit bigger because I would have done an alien per fingernail. This is how it looks with my phone splash on it. This is also how it looks when you're outside and it's sunny. And these are the two side by side. Let me know which one you guys prefer. I definitely love the one on the right. Like there's just something about it. But anyways, if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe. And thank you for watching.